Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 7 of the FIFA 22 My Player Career with Derby County. And there you can see the main man for the Rams right now is Kai. He's got 7 assists in 14 matches, 4 goals. Uh, but of course we want to increase on that going through this season. 14 games so far in the league and we are in the top 10, 9th place currently for Derby County. Still fighting for at least a playoff position. Uh, hopefully we can do that before the end of the season but of course we need to pick up our form still picking up losses which is something which we need to change the AI letting us down a little bit I have to say Kai's doing a lot of work but there's only so much he can do all by himself let's see if our teammates will help us in today's episode we need the win we need three points as well to start off today's video here at home against Blackburn Rovers uh, eight minutes gone no goals yet but Kai does play that one through and a chance for the Rams cross the goal but the defender was there first the Rams keeping possession though just outside the Blackburn half Kai trying to find somebody in space he's gonna carry on his run here picks up that loose ball and into the back of the net I say a loose ball it was absolutely um, not loose it was a great assisted pass there through ball by is it Tom Lawrence or Bannin, Bannis, or whatever his name is. Let's have a look. See who plays a through ball in. There's a cracking through ball right there between the two defenders, and boom, across the keeper into the back of net. Derby County lead then, one goal to nil, and that is his fifth goal of the season. Then for the 16 year old youngster, will he be able to add more in today's episode? Can he add more in this game here at Pride Park? Hopefully he can. Uh, but right now it is the away team with possession they're looking to get themselves back in this game as soon as possible nicely played there though by the derby defenders but given away this time and for post shot is on and what an absolutely superb finish that is one of the goals of the season so far volleyed it into the top corner across everybody looped it over the goalkeeper's head and as i said one of the goals of the season so far it's a good cross as well here the ball comes across and boom, look at that. Left-footed goalkeeper didn't stand the chance. Nobody marking him, uh, but it doesn't really matter because that was superb. Probably the best goal I've seen on this game so far. Right then, 1-1 one, one it is before half-time. Derby need to get themselves back in front. Can they do so before the half-time interval? That's a nice ball forward. Is he onside? He is indeed. Bowed up inside there to Kai, but the defender gets in the interception. And Kai's there with an interception for himself. And Sam Bowed up, he is there on the stroke of half time to give Derby the 2 1 lead. Uh, perfect time to score going into the break with that lead after conceding that absolutely superb goal um, earlier in the half. Uh, but hey, we will take this one. Here's a good ball as well here. And then Sam Bowed up running through. Goalkeeper probably should have got a hand to that one. Uh, but there is the goal scorer, number nine, with his fifth goal of the season. So let's jump into the second half, into the final 15 minutes here at Pride Park. And it is the Rams who are holding on narrowly to a 2-1 lead. Kai's currently on a, a 10 rating, so surely he is going to be getting the Man of the Match um, award yet again. But Blackburn Rovers... They've pulled another goal back. They've equalised here. Ten minutes remain on the clock. It's now Derby County 2, Blackburn Rovers 2. And not the result that we wanted. But we've still got ten minutes to try and get ourselves back into the lead. Uh, but there's two defenders around him. Surely at least one of them should have been challenging there uh, to get a foot on that ball. We're into the final two minutes. It is still 2-2. That's a poor pass there from Kai. Should have done better. But he's going to get this one. That was definitely... A loose pass here's Colin Kazim Richards, Graham Shinny, Kai's going to run straight through, the shot was on, took a deflection and it rolls straight into the hands of the away keeper. And I think that's probably going to be the last chance for Derby County to get the three points in this one as Blackburn push forward. Don't concede a late goal, Jesus. Derby County have had the most of this game, you would have expected the three points to be claimed by the home team. Uh, but two good goals, two good volleys in fact from Blackburn Rovers. Are they going to score a third? Look at the time added on. We've played two, nearly three minutes of the original five. But there we go. The final whistle finally blows. And it is 2-2. Two, two. So all level then. Not the worst result. But of course we are in need of victories. We need a win here. 17th place Barnsley next up for Derby County. We've just dropped down into 10th um, place in the league. 
Right, match objectives. What are we going to go for, boys? Shall we go for the assist? We only need the one assist. Uh, so surely we can assist one goal. But every time I choose a certain objective, it seems uh, to be something which we struggle getting. Uh, so if we need goals, then we struggle to score. If we need assists, we can't um, assist. If we need a few passes in the opposing half, we can't pass anymore. It's weird how this game works. But let's see if we can get ourselves the assist needed in this game. But more importantly, we need Derby County to be taking home the three points. Here is Kai right outside the edge of the area. Cuts it back, lays that one forward, gets it back there from Christian Billick. Was going to go for the shot there. Oh, beautifully played through. Oh, it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. That one, I thought, was flying into the back of the net. There's a beautiful little one-two here with Kai and I think Sam Baldock. Was it Baldock or is it Kazim Richards starting today? I think it was Baldock. Uh, but onwards we go. Corner is taken. Somebody needs to get there. Kai's going to pick up that loose ball. Played forward. Kai needs to run in the area, which is doing. The cross comes in. And the defender was there. Oh, my days. This, the woodwork saving the home team. Nil-nil the scoreline. Half an hour played. Derby County going the closest. Derby County looking the most likely so far to be um, taking anything from this game. That was played through the defender. For some reason, just lets him run past him. Thankfully, the, the goalkeeper was on it quick enough. And he was there to hold on to, uh, for the save. Look at all the defenders back for the Rams. And now the counter-attack play is on for Derby County. He is onside as well. Yes, he is onside. Confirmed. The, the linesman keeps his flag down. Tom Lawrence's first cross was blocked. And Barnsley have the ball back. And now they are the ones on the counter-attack with a minute or so remaining. It's been a poor game for both sides. More so for Derby because of where Barnsley are in the league table. Do not tell me they're going to steal this one late on. Oh no, this is looking like panic stations, but thankfully the final whistle blows. I say thankfully, it was looking for a second that they were going to steal it there at the end. Uh, but it did end 0-0. And as I said, we are struggling uh, to get goals, to get the wins. Let's try and change one of our perks, chance creation. Maybe we should be changing to that um, rather than the other one. We'll see if it affects it. See if it affects Kai's play at all. See if we can create more, score some more goals. And it is going to be Millwall, who are currently actually having a good season so far in the championship. They see themselves fourth in the league. And let's see what we're going to go with. An 8.5 match rating. If the chance creation perk does help us, then of course that will give us a good advantage looking for the 8.5 match rating at the end. Uh, all we need is an assist or two. Let's see what we can do here. It is Millwall then with the early possession in this game. We don't want to be conceding early on, that's for sure. But right now, I was going to say, it's looking like there was going to be an early goal in the favour of the home team. And now Christian Billick goes backwards, gets the ball back. Kai asks for it. He receives it from Billick. And now he's charging forward. Is he going to get the ball in return? He does. He's charging all the way through. Here you are. And there is the opening goal of the game. And Derby in front for the first time as well. Seven minutes gone. And I think that actually went in um, smack back on the seven minute mark. Uh, so a perfect time to score early on in the game. Hopefully we can build on it this time though. And not concede any scorching goals from volleys. Like we did against Blackburn Rovers just a few days ago. Uh, but there he is. Kai, 16 years old. He's got his sixth league goal of the season. And he's on, what was it, seven assists or something like that. That's something we need to improve on. Especially being the central attacking midfielder, of course. Plays that one back inside. 7.8 match rating. Needs that to be 8.5. Goes for long range effort. Goalkeeper makes a save. But even with that shot, it does bump him up to an 8.3 match rating. Good effort. Worth the, worth the chance at least. Defender was slow to close him down, so he got the time off to take off the shot. Corner gets swung in towards Kai. Defender was there first. Volley was on, but again, the goalkeeper tipping it over the crossbar. And the score does remain Millwall nil. Derby County 1. 17 and a half minutes on the clock. And that one finds the back of the net. And it is Davis. He not long ago scored an own goal. So it's nice to see him getting on the right side of the score sheet this time. And doubling Derby's lead. And we are looking good. 
for the three points finally. Be a nice way to end today's episode with a victory after two disappointing draws. Look at that, he's got two, three, four defenders around him and somehow Davis comes out on top. So into the final couple of minutes then and remember Millwall were fourth in the league so this is an absolutely huge result here for Derby County and if you can see in the top right there as well 9.5 overall match rating the objective for today's game was a match rating of 8.5 uh, so unless he gets sent off oh I thought that was a fine in and um, he is going to be meeting that objective a good performance all round even though we did change the perk to chance creation we've not really done much in in regards to creating chances in uh, for Kai anyway uh, well, let's wait for the final whistle to blow, and that is going to be ending today's episode with three points. Hope you did enjoy today's episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're going to wait for this final play, and hopefully it's not going to be a goal here from Millwall. A clean sheet would be nice. Always play through. Too much on it, though, and I think that's going to be the last action of the game. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.